And now this is actually a timed quest. You see in the right side the timer. We have 15 minutes to get to Hillsbrand. And that's not easy actually to do. When I did this with my mage, with my first hardcore character, I missed it by like five seconds. That's why it's burned into my brain. Like I remember this quest, I was running in the inn and then the timer went to literally zero when I saw him. I apologize profusely for any inconvenience my murderous rampage may have caused. <laughs> the other rogue is already here, let's help him then. So he doesn't have to do it alone. So the catapult is here, I think. I already clicked that, but the other guys need to do it as well. Otherwise, they can't take the Necrosh quest. Actually, let's go a bit more here, right? We don't need to pull this camp. Okay, they want to pull the camp. Because we need this catapult. We don't need to clear all these camps here. Not necessary. Okay, the paladin is here. Let's already bless him with an intellect buff. Um, yeah, but now we drink. Get my combo out. Stay in Frost Nova. Nice. Boom. Mage things. So they... I already did this. Ah, damn. More to kill. Also curses that I need to decurse. Okay. Everyone clicked it. Good. And now we need to go here. Necrosh lives there. A little bit of slalom so we don't kill more mobs than we need to. People in our guild making fun about Guzu because he died as a fire mage against a fire immune boss. But honestly, big balls for him for trying. Like for the, the boss is for trying it. Sure, he has like a 20% chance of success. He can only use arcane spells basically. But don't make fun of him, come on. He showed balls. Mm, let's refresh my buff food. We can use the worse one. We have a full group here. Should be no problem. Where is he? There he is. Chieftain Nag Rush. We try to clear as much as possible before we pull him. But the mobs here are just non-elites, so shouldn't be a big problem. But now we are in chain pulling territory. He pulls him, he pulls him, he pulls him. And he pulls Nag Rush, right? Ah, oh, actually Nag Rush doesn't get pulled. Perfect then. Cast something so I can counterspell you. There we go. There is even a chest. And we pulled him. Let's kill the the little one first. So he's out of the way. Let's go recharge. Holy, he hits hard. Our paladin half dead. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Our paladin is half dead. There we go, Guzu. I took revenge for you. And we have almost a paladin dying. Roll. Boom! That's my chest even. Wait. Too out to loot off. In case there is something a good green item that I can't use. It would be rude. Two lesser mana potions. Oh wow. Okay. That's it for me. Good job. Now we leave this place here again. Is there still Guzu's? Did you see like his corpse laying around? Problem is there is five layers, right? The chance that he is on this layer is actually 20%. Or was. So I think the corpse is also just on the layer that it died on, and not, not on every layer. Stay safe. Alright, so we have all the elite quests in Wetlands done. And I think we are going to Wetlands now anyways. Which is good. Because I need the first aid. That's the next thing we're gonna do. Uh, like, we follow the stuff here that is still has to be done. But then we do the first aid. Main hand. 26 silver, not bad. Oh no, we need to do the jumping quest at the bridge. I hate this one. You have to make a jump, and if you fail the jump, you're falling down into the water like super deep, and then you have to run back up. And every time you fail, you have to like two minutes run back up. And you need like, it's almost impossible to do it on the first try, to be honest. If I had like a speed potion, I could do it, but I don't have a speed potion. Let's see if we can do it. When I saw Guzu starting like four days, five days ago, I knew he's gonna catch up because he's gonna play eight hours every day. And then obviously you do catch up. 
And I thought like, okay, today is probably the point where he's surpassing me, actually getting a higher level than me. But funny, he died on Necrosh just before I did him. So literally one quest before he would have overtaken me, he died. <laughs> so we need to get to this point. Isn't there slowfall enough for it? It looks like slowfall should be enough. Easily enough. Man, I was worried. I was worried for nothing. Hey, Foggy McCreel. What's on your mind? And now we need to jump down anyways. Let's click away the slow fall. It's safe water, but we still blink. Don't want to risk anything. And then we need to loot. Where is it? Here. Waterlocked ladder. His friend fell down here. Droned. And I'm recovering the letter. And now this is actually a timed quest. You see on the right side the timer. We have 15 minutes to get to Hillsbrand. And that's not easy actually to do. That's actually a tough timer to, to hit. But as a mage we have Blink. So for us it should be possible. It should be doable. Oh, I hate it when there is a timer running, man. It's always so much pressure on me. Why do you pressure me that much? The question is, do we have enough time? Because we are just running past this here. Do we have the time to do first aid and still manage to do the quest? Oh, that's a good question, man. Let's see. If we are here and have more than eight minutes, then I think we should be able to do it. And now we have this bombardiers here again that we need to pass. We can shoot the first one. And I think we can dodge the other guys, right? Oh, we aggroed them, but I'm a mage. I just blink away. I hope they don't net me now. Oh, we need to go to the refugee point first. We also have no time to pick this life route here. It's really tough, the timer. When I did this with my mage, with my first hardcore character, I missed it by like five seconds. That's why it's burned into my brain. Like, I remember this quest. I was running in the inn and then the timer went to literally zero when I saw him. That's why I'm not fucking around and this time going straight into the direction. No live roots, no other herbs. We have a timer, guys. Also, by the way, here is a patrol, the Forsaken Couriers. That's five mobs of level 35 that are gonna easily kill me, no problem. So if you go on the main roads in wetlands, also always have an eye on them, the couriers. At some point we need to kill them for a quest. But not ne uh, not yet. That's like in five, six levels or so. We have no chance to do this now. But they're not here anyways. Okay, still 11 minutes on the timer. I think we are quite good in the time. Like if you're not a mage, you have to go straight there. As a mage, I can make a stop here in the, in the camp. Accept the quest real quick. Hey you. What can I do for you? I don't have a lot of time. Okay, that's it actually. Nothing else to do besides speaking with this one guy. Can we make the stop or can we not make the stop? I also don't know if we need to fight our way inside there. Because there is a lot of people dying. It's red. It's not just red, it's super red. <sighs> okay, 10 minutes. It took us 5 minutes to go from here to here. So this would be another 5 minutes. So actually I have 5 minutes time. Forsaken Courier, they're, they they are. I've just talked about these guys. Here's the four second career and his four bodyguards, all of them level 35. Don't aggro these. No joke, these guys. Hmm. I'd rather sheep the ogre than going to the forsaken careers here. We need to remember that they are gonna be... Nah, they're gonna have passed the point when we are there. I don't know if I want to go inside there now and with only a little bit of time. Let's go, come on, we are so, so close to it. But what is actually killing people here? Like, why is there so much red? Danger, Otto, level 38. Okay, don't face Otto. Otto. Here are mobs nowhere, nowhere mobs. Can we get up here? No. Level 38, Void Walker. How we get up there? The problem is we need to kill stuff now. Is there any way we can jump here? Hmm. 
Hmm. Other side, maybe? No. This side? No. The thing is, we can't start killing Void Walker and Elite Mobs now. That's we have to turn in the quest first. I don't know how to get up there quick. We're coming back at a later point. Where is the career and his bodyguards? Should have passed already. Ah, here they are. They didn't pass yet. Let's squeeze before them. Maybe I should not be tapped out in this game. Go it foreign! Go it foreign! There is the first go it foreign! And this means we can finally craft our first Alexi of Fortitude, man. Let's go! Let's go, my first gold foreign. Finally! I've looked so long for it. Even two. I got two gold forns. I can make two Alexi of Fortitudes. 120 health. Man, I have 622. This is like 20% of my health almost. These elixirs will increase my health by 20%. That's that's crazy if you think about it. And we are already using that, I guess, for the first aid thing. But first we turn in the quests here. Yeah, we easily make this one in time. Just don't fuck around. But if we did the first aid thingy now, like three minutes, I don't think we would have gotten it in three minutes. If we did the first aid thing in between, we would have to do the quest again. Oh, and we can pick new uh, new apples here in the inn. But first we turn in a few quests. In the basement, he is. So down there, I guess. Hey, you. Two minutes, 50 left. That's okay. How are ya? Thank you very much. Okay, we take the... Oh, start looking for a group for Gnome Regan? Already? We're doing Gnome Regan now, guys. There is actually groups for it, so... But first, we pick the first aid thing. Honor, friend. Light, light. The first aid thing has priority right now. So we go back. Um, I don't really want to look for a group for Gnome Regan now already, because we have to accept all the pre-quests first. And if I go for a group now, they're gonna be like, Bro, why are you looking for a group if you're not ready? Because the, the accepting all the quests, flying around, we need to go to Ironforge, we need to go to Stormwind, and we need to go to Wetlands to accept quests. So that takes a while. And you see there is enough groups for Gnome Regan. We're gonna find one. Look, there's people level 30 looking for Gnome Regan groups, and these guys are like level 33 plus. Why? Why 33 plus? Every, even the end boss is gonna be green for everyone. This requirement is way too high. We are not in time anyways. There are the careers again. Okay, we are back. We came back. I think the, the only thing we did wrong actually is we have to go turn right and not turn left there. Because on the left side is the, the horde stuff and on the right side is the alliance stuff. He has a level 60 bodyguard, man. I never understand these people who like level 40 leveling and have a level 60 bodyguard. Isn't this totally boring and destroying the, the sense of hardcore? Like if you fear dying so much, why are you playing hardcore? Or if you think you can't do it the normal way, then again, why are you playing hardcore? Let everyone do whatever they want to do, I guess. Someone killed this warlock now. But we go here right and these are friendly. Ah, oh, that's the way. We could have done this in time. If I knew that I just have to walk left instead of right. Yeah, normally I just buy this books in the auction house. Because you could theoretically also buy these books in the auction house. But yeah, cell phone is not possible. So that's actually the first time I went here. Because normally I'm like, going to a ratty? Nah, let's buy it in the auction house. Alright, where is our trainer? Bro, you are hidden, man. Okay, we buy. The ex paid... First aid learns to a maximum of 225. But we need to buy more, I think. See, in the auction house, it's one gold. People actually making gold like this. They walk here, buy this like 20 times, and then they put it in the auction house. And some lazy people like me, <laughs> they will just buy it. So, yeah, that's actually a gold making method. Okay, expert first aid, 225. Good. Then, we learn the heavy silk bandages. And uh, when we are here, we pick everything. Now we can use the hearthstone. Start looking for a group. No. What can I do for you? We have this quest done for you, my friend. Then Great we accept me. one from you, innkeeper. You? Uh, first, we loot the apples, of course. Then we sell everything that we don't need. This is for a quest. We don't need that. 
Herb, herb. Even my cleared inventory is not really cleared, to be honest. Well, that's my cleared inventory for now. I can put a lot of stuff in the bank, etc. But hui, hui. Dude, we are even doing more quests. Why does this guide want me to uh, search for a group already if you're not even done with the quests? I have to kill a few murlocs. Oh, he's a hunter. Or he's throwing stuff at me, let's say it like this. Man, he's al almost beating me one on one. Resist again? Bro, really? Two resists? <laughs> one of these almost kills me, man. Okay, we have to kill this one as well. Not in line of sight. Still not in line of sight now. Or can we ninja loot? Yeah, we ninja looted. Ninja looting is a bit quicker. Ah, we need to kill them anyways. For light forge ingots. They dropped that. Man, I hate it. I activate mana shield now. Sure, it costs a lot of mana. But then he's not interrupting my frost bolts at least. And I can hard cast without getting interrupted. Bye bye. Two out of five? The drop rate seems pretty good. Please, 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 please. There we go. And these tangy clam meat I can actually use for cooking. Where is it? Here. Tangy clam meat. Actually, I can craft them now. I just need to buy hot spices real quick. So that's something that is out of my inventory as well. Alright, do you have the spices? No? You have the spices, right? There we are. We need 15 hot spices. And then we need a fire. Here is a fireplace. 19 goblin deviled clams. So we have almost a full stack of plus 6 bar food, almost a full stack of plus 4 bar food. We are fine for a while. We, do, we already do this tasty omelettes, but we put this one on the bank. Because we don't need to keep two plus six buff foods with me at the same time. That wouldn't help me at all. Alright, that was all skill points as well. So we end up in, on 160 cooking. Not bad. Alright, what else do we have to do here? Need to go inside this. No. Hey, hey. Give me the sword. Me on the ground. What is next? Turn in lost ingots. Yeah, we just did that. What's on your mind? Hey, hey, you. Thanks a lot. Teleport Iron Forge. All right. But we still have to do other stuff in Iron Forge. First of all, Mage Trainer. We didn't meet the Mage Trainer yet on level 32. So it's time now. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. What do we have? Arcane Missiles. Conjure Food we learned for sure. Flame Strike we also learned for sure. Frost Nova we don't need. Frost Ward, yes. Frost Bolt, yes. That's a few... Really decent upgrades. Okay, all my ranks are updated. I have two gold, man. Two freaking gold. And now we're accepting the quests. Okay, we have here Zara Baloo. Great to meet you. Great to meet ya. And we turn in the quest and we wait a little bit for her RP. Let's see the RP. This isn't fair, my dearest Sully. Come back to me. No, naked mages F. Why did you bring me this? Sorry, mate. Why did you bring me such news? Is it my fault? Your husband is freaking dead. Your husband died. Hello. He drowned in the water. Welcome. He died painfully. It was a long, hard fight for death. But in the end, the death won. Your husband is dead, Sarah Balu. It's well, not my fault. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> That's how life is, man. Maybe you shouldn't have gone there in the first place. All right, we are here, back in Iron Forge at the King Magni Bronzebeard, the dwarf motherfucker. Strength. Strength, and he gives me a quest for Gnomeregan as well. So we are doing everything this guy wants us to do. He has one million health. I have six hundred. This guy could kill me with his little toe. He is stealing my lunchbox. I have no chance against this guy. <laughs> I'm not fucking around. If he is like you kill this, then I kill this. I don't know why he's not doing it himself, but yeah. Okay, all right. Another quest over there. Great to, meet Great to meet you. Oh, we are level 33. Nice. All right. That means we can spend another skill point. And since we are entering Gnome Rugan next, I will uh, happily pick the mana reduce and the fret reduce. Yeah, less mana cost and less fret. Perfect. That's what we need for a dungeon, honestly. I don't want to pull aggro, as you know. 
And now we're going in the military ward, accepting another quest here. Well met. Well met. Holy, so much quests to accept there. We go to our gnomish friends in the gnomish district called Tinkertown. <laughs> like, also, it's very small. Everyone has such a big area. And the gnomes like, yeah, here you have this little thing there. You can build whatever you want. And the gnomes built whatever they wanted, <laughs> as you see. All right, quests, quests, quests. To meet you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hi, how are you? Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey. All these gnomes have something to do for me. Alchemy trainer, if we are here, let's check it real quick. That's actually a quite good elixir, but do I want to spend one gold for it now? We're gonna need that later on for sure. 450 armor? One gold is harsh, but, but uh, if we have the chance to buy it, we will buy it. Because, like, this vendor has it not always and people are buying it. You saw it cost one gold, but in the auction house it sells for 10 gold. So yeah, I could also buy it in the auction house, but... Yeah, self found adventurer. I'm telling you nothing new, I guess. Yeah, this goes on the bank. I will need this later on. Okay, let's go to the bank and we pick all our wool cloth now. Wool cloth and silk cloth. We're doing first heavy wool bandages, as long they are giving me skill points. I kept all this wool cloth. More. Inventory is full. I, I kept all this wool cloth all the time with me, just so I get these skill points now. So we clearly do this first. We do it until it's gray. And the rest we can throw away. Hundred seventy, and it still gives skill points. Holy, hundred seventy-one. All right, so now we start silk bandaging. And at hundred eighty, we can learn heavy silk bandages. Okay, here we have it. Hundred eighty. So we can learn now manual heavy silk bandage, the thing we just bought, and we do craft it. We actually get a lot of gold back now with selling all of the bandages. We only need the strongest ones. So we can sell all of that. And then boost us up to four gold almost. We need to clear the inventory before we go. Gnome Regan. Okay, we have everything we need with us. These two can be sold. And then we are ready and set to go Gnome Regan, I think. Yeah, we do this the next video, the next stream. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye, guys. Next video. Gnome Regan, click here. Somewhere up there it should be.